Right, so I've got enough in there for what I need. I do need a squirt of red paint in there. And I'm going to use a little spatula to mix that up. Move them out of the way. Oh, it's sunk. See, nice red. Oh, what you've got to be careful is you don't put too much in. That's great. Yeah, like that. Nice rich red. Uh, with this one, I'm going to mix up some copper, which is what I had the other day, I think. Is it copper or gold? Let's do the copper, I think. No, that's silver. Come on, Fee, get it right. Have I got the copper here? Gold, copper, come out wherever you are. There we go. So I'm just going to move that out of the way and find my tweezers. Use these a minute. Put that out of the way. We don't need that yet. Get some copper, sorry. Got it stuck to me already. I'm just going to tear a strip off and pop that in and let's see how we get on with that. So I need another one of these and hopefully it'll break up. That's it. Put it in just breaking it up inside I'm actually going to put some more in there we go and really break that up it will spread when I get it in the coaster Yeah, I'm happy with that. That looks lovely. So I'm just going to pop that out of the way. And then in this one, I'm going to do the black. I know. <laughs> I do need another one to put some white in as well. But we've plenty left in this batch. It's going to be like a black opaque. And hopefully it'll look nice. Hopefully. It's got pigment in it, so it's going to have to be mixed well. But then it will all mix together anyway. So that's that one. And like I say, I'm just going to get another one because I need to do a... A white one so I'm going to put a little bit of this I can't put much in I don't want much anyway it's just enough to run a little bit of white um, through the the bit I need like that that might be too much but we can put more acrylic with it if it is Oh, it's nice and creamy, that. Now, I think that's fine. Right, so what I'm going to do now is move this so I can get in and do something. And I need to do this first. Get those out of the way. I hope I've got enough red in it. Move the copper. Bring my... Um molding and first what I'm going to do is to put the black in it
I hope it's worked. Oh, sorry. No, I don't. I want to put the... Do I? Now I'm going to put the black in. Oh, I like the bits in it, actually. Yeah, I like that. Let's just run this about. Oh, I like that. Beautiful with that blacking. You know, with the bits in it. Really nice. Right, okay. So we like that. Now to see which way it's running to make sure it's level-ish. I like them bits. And then what I'm going to do is to drizzle in some of the white. And this is where I love to play. Now it will all start merging together but I want to blow um, a little bit of that about. Okay. And I don't want to do too much to it. But then we are going to do this. To get some of that copper in here. And to be quite honest, I may have enough to do the square one as well. We'll see. Now what I'm going to do is just to move this about. Put that in there and I'm going to go back in here with the white. I'm not going to do any more. I'm just going to let that run its course, I think. See how it all... It disperses itself. Let me just, I've got a little stick here. I'm going to put a little swirl in it. Oh, these are gorgeous. Wow, <laughs> not sure if you can see that. My camera's going to go. I'm going to change my battery. Now, I do have to wait for this to dry. So that now needs to go on a flat surface and I'm going to do the um, the other one. So I've got a piece of board here, which without disturbing it too much, that's it. I'm going to take that and lay it flat. But then I do need to cover it as well. And in order to do that, I'm just going to put a piece of card over it. And that will cure overnight. I really wanted to do this one different. <laughs> and uh, I wanted to do blues with this one. I, oh, sorry about that. I'm going to do a... Um, yeah, wait a minute. Let me get another one. Right, what I'm going to do is do the blue one in this one. So, I've got the blue here. Do I want blue? Purple. Maybe a purple one. 
not even been open for you. Right, okay. Get another stick. I love the bits in it. It just made it look lovely. Really nice. Okay, so we're going to do this one. Again, I'm going to use up the black. Whoops, a daisy. I'm not going to put too much of the black in. Uh, then we're going to put the purple in. Like that. Keep those together. And then what I'm going to do is to add... No, I'm going to put the copper in last. I'm going to put the white in. Just going to let these run. I do actually like it with the pigment in. You know, the clumpy pigment, I mean. Oh, look at that. Look at that colour. Wow. Now, don't forget, I do have to top them up with uh, clear. I just have to make sure I've got them levelled out and then I'm just going to drop this in just randomly drop it in I just think it uh, makes them look really nice quite posh actually I don't want to waste any of this Now, things like this is all trial and error. All of it. And it'll either work or it won't. <laughs> but I never bother. If it doesn't work, I've tried. You know, I never worry about it. You know, I'm. it's not often I waste anything, but there are times when I've had to throw things away or redo it completely and do something totally different with it. So, I need a little bit more white. Let me just mix a touch more white. To drip around there. Now, hang on. So I'm gonna. Is there, it, it is slightly holding it. That needs to be in the middle there. So I need to put another board under here. By the looks of it. Let me just see. I don't want to run it too much. It's only while I do this. Going to drop a little bit more purple in this and let it do its own thing. That's that one done. I think we can use up a little bit more of the black like that. Let that do its own thing. A bit more of the white. I'm just going to let that run its course. 
I think. Let me just give it a, a couple of whirls. I absolutely love that. Beautiful colours. I'm just going to leave them to do their own thing. Now, I do think I need to raise that up a little bit. But I'm going to put that on a flat board and let that rest as well. So that's okay. Let's get this on here before it does too much. Beautiful, isn't it? Right, hang on, because I need to take a picture as well. So I'm just doing these, Jane, which is what you requested. These two are the earrings that I'm just doing. And I think we can put one of those in. Like that. And that's one for the bracelet. So just need a touch more in here. Oops, and one more in there. And that should do for those. Oh, take the air bubbles out, Fee. There we go, and push that over without the air bubble. So I'm just going to leave those to dry overnight. They should be ready then. And then you've got a matching set. And I think I've got enough here left to do something else. So I'm just going to get another mould. Beautiful flower. Hopefully it will work. I'll have to pour some more in tomorrow. I just need enough to make it stick. So I've got this mould like that i'm just going to put enough in the middle to start with uh, using one of those see that one i need a stick let me use this stick see like that or oh, hopefully that will stay I'm just going to pour that lot on top. I'm not going to do any more than that. I'm just going to take that air bubble out. That should be fine. I'm going to leave it at that. Whoops. No, don't do that. Oh. Oh, I don't like how that's gone. Maybe that's why. Hmm. I'm going to leave it. I don't want it tipping out, you see. Now that's started to tip out. Not bothered if we to file anything off. But I do want that to sit right. We can file it down if we need to. Staying like that. So are they. That's it. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll speak to you all soon. And tomorrow we'll see how we get on with these. Bye bye for now.